Hi, I'm Tom and this is Worcester Small Holder. We're going to do a quick video on how to detach a flail mower from one of our machines. In particular, this is the Izeki. So we want to get the flail mower off safely. So we've got the flail mower on the ground. To start with, we're going to lift the machine up off the ground and we've got to put down our stand. So I'm going to get on the machine, I'm going to start it up off the ground, lift it up. We're going to lift the flail mower up slightly, just a little bit. I'm going to turn the tractor back off. I'm going to put my gloves on. And we're going to put down this little stand here. It's a prop stand basically, so rather than it running on the skids, it keeps it off the ground a little bit. We're going to drop this all the way down and then the holes will just line up underneath this piece here. So I'm going to slide this into the hole. So now I'm going to start the machine back up and lower it all the way to the ground. I'll turn the machine off. Now this is always fiddly. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of ground clearance in order for the axle stand to stop on the ground basically and take the weight of the machine. So I'm gonna lengthen, sorry, I'm actually gonna shorten the top link to lower the machine down. So I'm gonna crack this off, unwind the, the anti-wind bar, and I'm gonna slowly drop this down. It can be quite stiff. And then I'm gonna hope that the, keep going a little bit more, hopefully it should work out about right. The flail mower should, should come loose. Brilliant, right, I'm gonna unwiggle the top link, whilst the machine's down, still quite stiff. Put that there. I'm just gonna hook this up out of the way somewhere. I'm gonna put the pin back in so we don't lose it. So now currently, the link arms should be loose. We've got all of the weight sat on our stand, with the pin through, so there's no weight. The machine isn't being held up by the tractor anymore. I've taken off the top link. Now I need to take off the hydraulic spool valves. So just here, sometimes they can be a little bit stiff. These are quite loose. If they're a little bit stiff, if you come round here, I will show you how to basically, sometimes they can be under pressure slightly. So I'm gonna, this is for the, I'm just gonna wiggle these with the tractor off. And if there's any pressure, it's just release the pressure going to the back of the mower. So if we come back round, these are like a quick release connector. They're really easy to use. Always do the bottom one first and wear gloves because sometimes you get a little bit of oil on your hands. Pull the collar back and just wiggle it out. And I'll lay that one down. Same with the top one. Pull the collar back and wiggle it out. And place that one down. Because these are quick releases, they're really easy to get on and off. You haven't got to try and line the pin up with a heavy implement and constantly reverse. So we're going to lift this up and it'll hook on. And as you can see, it's dropped. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Lift it up. As you can see, the arms are slowly lowering as I already had them set all the way down. Now, lastly, we're going to do the PTO shaft. Always make sure the tractor is off. I'm going to unclip it here. This is the chain. So basically, when the mower's running, this thing basically, if you haven't got this on, if you don't have the chain on, the mower's just going to spin and burn the shaft, burn the plastic here. So I'm going to lift this up. And then on the PTO shaft, there's a collar. I'm going to press this little button. There's a little button. I don't know if you can quite get in there and see it. There's a little button. And I'm going to pull this back with me. Push the button in and wiggle it back. And now it's off. I'm just going to show them this button. So there's a little button here. You, when you slide it on and off, it lets go a little, a little bar, a little bar that goes through there. And you can slide it on and off. So I'm going to make, I'm going to put this on again shortly. So I'm gonna try and hook the chain up so it can go on first time. Sometimes you can just drop them on the floor, whichever's easiest. Probably easiest to drop it on the floor, but I've started now. So there we are, I'm gonna hook that onto there. So now when I reverse back up, it's nice and straight and it won't catch or hopefully won't catch on the bar. So now the machine is completely detached. Nothing's connected anymore, the chain's off, 
hydraulic hoses are off, both of our rear link arms with the quick releases are all off and our top link is out of the way and we haven't had to take out any of the pins. With these quick releases you don't need to take out these pins, they, just, they can always stay in. It's really fantastic. And then our top link pin has gone back in and it's all hooked up. And that is how you detach a flail mower. Thank you for watching.